All right, good morning, guys. All right, so I'm going to look for, I'm going to see what I can do this morning. We had some, some things gapping uh, in the morning. We got the opening bill. Right now, everybody's just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. I already made my, uh, my scanner, so let's see what pops up in the scanners now. All right, so I'm kind of looking for, um, I'm looking to see what's happening. Looks like AIM is going to gap up. AIM is going, AIM looks like it's doing something. And we got D, Y, and T. That one looks like it just went down a little. So here's what I'm going to do. Since AIM is dropping, First thing in the morning, this one has a nice little dip. DYNT didn't have a dip. That one just kind of chilled. That one is selling off. And so we're going to wait. I'm going to look at APOP, DYNT, and AIM to see which one of these guys are going to run run up. See, this one, and that one is doing like a full straight up bar. It was 83%. This one seems like a good one. I could, I could probably see myself. This one's going down a little. Let's see in here in the one in the chart. It's got two bars. So that one doesn't look bad. Uh, okay, so it's it's actually doing a retracement, and CTRM is retracing. So I actually, uh, let's see what CRM is, CTRM, what is that? Okay, there's no news, huh. All right, so, CTRM, 86%, it's going up. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to in this one. We're going we're gonna to grab some of that. Looks like she's still going up. I think she halted. Yeah, that one halted. CTRM would have been a good one and halted. All right. Um. So they halted the trading on that one. So it can't can't jump in that one right now. It's gonna see what happens after this halt. She's still popping up. All right, let's see what's going on. Might have missed that one, guys. <laughs> that one's popping up real hard. Uh, but the volume's not all the way up yet, so I'd say there's maybe maybe there's plenty of room in this one. I'm not sure. It's already up 114%. Um, so I'm going to just sit here and watch. Let's see if I can... A pop is back down. Previous close was 206, gapped up. It's a 24%. That one is going down. Let's see, 
right, so we're gonna go with APOP. I'm gonna go with a pop today. And let me see how many I got. Um, so far, I got how many of these I got? actually get a few more yeah I think I can get a few more This one over here on my trading screen, I can actually see more. See if I can pull up the charts for you. It's gonna be a little pain from when we jumped in and see if we can take her up some. This is a small account, so I'm just gonna see what I can do. I lose 15%. It's just a couple bucks, so we'll see where we are. We'll get down a little bit and see if we're gonna breaking that that gap down the line we got a green candle coming give this a second kind of see what we got here Go check the uh, check the volume on it. CTRM shot up some more. That would have been a really good one, but I chose a pop. So this is where we are. We'll see what happens. The volume went up a lot higher. Volume is going up higher on a pop. We got a follow up with volume. See if I can get this thing to refresh. No, we can't. A pops volume is up higher. She's going up. 
We got a green bar. We got a big green bar. All right. Now we're going up. She's going up. Three on nine. Three. Let's see if we can hit past this. Three oh eight. Let's see, forty percent. A pop is at two percent. Two two million volume. So volumes up higher. Two million volume. All right, now here's the thing. Uh, apparently, I already made 6% at this point. And so we're waiting to see how far this thing can go up. She just pops out of nowhere. I make 11%. All right, now here's where I'm going to close it. Let's get it. Oh, she's going back down, guys. Is that all? Oh, we just got some sellers. Tasted the, we tasted the win. It's going back up again. She's going back up. I'm gonna set it at 330. Mm. All right, I'm out. What did I what did I out at? Now I know that's like probably like what? Why'd you sell? But here's the thing: she might pop up and go up a lot higher. But you know, oh, there she goes. She's down. You see? So I I, I pegged it at three thirty. So let's go check out the order status with that one. Pop. All right. Realize gain. So we made five dollars and ninety nine cent. I like to know exactly what was the actual percentage gain uh, on that trade. And you know, she might continue to go up, but here's the thing about me and this small account thing I'm doing. So I'm gonna have a cash account, guys, and basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna um I'm going to have a $500, $600 start off. And I just wanted to test this strategy and make sure it works. So what I'm going to do is with the $500 is I'm going to have $50 trades. All right. That means I got 10 trades. As you see, I just made six bucks on that trade. Now I could actually go over to here. You see CTR, CTRM is back down here. This is a, this thing kind of like fumbled. Now, I could actually, this would be a great time to hop back in CTRM if I want it. Um, I could do that, but I only, I only have one more day trade left, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait and get a fresh start tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is, with the 50 bucks times 10, is I'll be able to make one day trade per day in a cash account. So I'll make, um, I know this sounds ridiculous, but if I can make 5 to $6, per trade this is helping me get my trading skills back up and also I'll get five dollars to um, it grows the account now as I add more money to the account this will be able to go higher but what I'm doing is I'm trying to test the strategy with the smallest amount of money just to have a chance to see if it's actually working so if it's working it doesn't matter exactly how much you're using it works no matter what you do you get what i'm saying so so at the end of the day if it works it works it doesn't matter you know what i mean so i'm just gonna see what i can make with what i have and try to make the most with what i have so as i add another 50 i can use another 50 dollar trade so i'm using 10 percent of the account if i have 500 bucks and I do this every day until I get 600 bucks, 700 bucks, 800 bucks. And on top of that, I'm going to be able to add more money to the account. So it's going to start to work in my favor as time goes on. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just, I'm just want to see what the percentage uh, on that trade was. But I'm actually having a hard time finding that right now. Um, oh, I know what I can do. I can... I can change 
the day change PNL percentage. There it is. I'm pretty sure I can change that. All right. Uh, I'll just just add a bunch of stuff in here. All right. That should there. That should let us know. So I made 13 percent in that trade just right there. So that just shows you like okay. So if I can average, if I can average, say seven to 10 percent. I mean 10% a day with a day trade at 50 bucks I mean obviously if I lose the trade I'm also gonna lose almost that same amount so let's say when I lose um, I would lose 13% I would lose six dollars but what's beautiful is I got I got 10 tries I got 10 chances 10 different 50 bucks with 500 so I have a lot of chances to make that work. And if I screw that up so many times, then I can adjust my strategy because I'm not using that much money. All right, guys. So anyway, um, that's basically what I'm trying to do is, is master my strategy. Everybody has their own strategy. I'm mastering my strategy with a um, smaller amount of money to kind of get it to work. And once it works, then I can... Um, I can adjust my strategy or I can do more, but I'm doing it with cash instead of this is how you trade without this is how you would trade with cash instead of a, um, a simulator. So you don't have to, you know, keep because you want to have some of that fun. But with this small dollar position, it's as if I'm in the simulator. It doesn't feel like I'm using real cash because it's such a small amount. So you want to use a small amount of money that still feels like simulator to you because about losing 50 bucks so now I can trade like it's the simulator I make a lot of money in the simulator because I don't really care this thing is looking like it wants to pop back up again so I could technically jump back in this thing had already tasted 140 percent but um, I'm, I'm good on this one I just you know I watched it it was a good trade I mean there's always tomorrow all right guys so hope you like this video smash the like button smash the subscribe button Drop some comments below. That's the first trade of the day. Our first trade with a small account. You're probably cracking up. Like, what is he doing with a $50 account? But like I said, I'm going to add um, $500 or $600 to this. And then I'm going to use, uh, well, not this account because this is a margin account. So I'm setting up a cash account. I'm going to move that money over there. And I'm going to do this trade every day at $50. Bucks. Everyone else is teaching me or teaching us to use margin accounts to get there faster but with a margin account I can still use Charles Schwab I can only make a day trade per day and since I got fifty dollars per day um, I can do that until I get to um, you know I'll, I'll add money slowly into my account until I get to 2500 so when I get to 2500 I can start raising my when I get to 2500 I'll be using two percent of the account which at that point I can start raising it up to say 60 or 70 or $80 so that I'm using three or 4% of the account since it's such a small trading account and it just make one day trade per day. And I'm going to keep my threshold, my risk threshold low so that I don't worry that way. I'm not using stops. I'm not doing any of that right now. I'm just trading until I get good at the, the trade. See CTRM is like confused. There's no one wants to go up or down. It might go up, might go down, but it's, it's, supply and demand right now is kind of even so it's kind of stuck so that's why I'm done with that check out the screen we got anything else a pop shot up 343 I sold it at 330 could have made another 10 percent or so or made another five percent or so but I mean you ask me I did pretty good Let's see where we are oh, I'm back down now so yeah I'm, I'm glad see I sold it at 330 and it's back down at 325 so I mean I mean, I don't know. I did pretty good if you ask me. Um, but you let me know. You let me know in the comments if I did good, if not, whatever. But this is like all the trading I did last year. I didn't have the risk to reward ratio set right, and I didn't have my. Um, I just really didn't even have my risk management strategy in place like I do now. So now, when I add, this works on a higher dollar amount, right? So let's say, for instance, I put um, twenty thousand dollars in here. This would have still have been this would have been a four hundred dollar trade. This same trade is the same. It doesn't matter how much money you're using. It's just that you keep the risk the same. So with four hundred dollars, this would have made um, 
this would have been a fifty-two dollar trade. All right, and if I do that, I know you're like what, but that's the two percent of the account. Um, I was using ten percent of the account, so if I was using twenty twenty thousand and using ten percent, I would have been using two thousand at thirteen percent would have been a two hundred and sixty dollar trade. So this would have been a two hundred and sixty dollar trade if I was using uh ten percent of my account and I had two thousand twenty thousand in the in the bank. But then I would have had to set my stop at two percent of the loss, which would have been uh, at fifty two dollars. So I would have had to set my stop at a point where I lost fifty two dollars. As soon as I lost fifty two dollars, I would have had to stop out. So that's that's how you would have done the risk, whatever. But either way it goes, um, it makes sense because I was going to make fifty as the risk, and the amount that I could make was two hundred. So I'm making like a one to four. It's like a one to four risk. So one a one x like a four x over one. So it would have been, been straight. Um, a decent trade, but like I said, I'm gonna grow the account slowly by adding amounts to money to the account and the cash account, and I'm gonna do this fifty dollar trades every day. If you do two or three trades in one day, that six dollars can turn to eighteen, so it's like a twenty buck trade day, and you keep doing that. And as I slowly make more money, I'll make more money to continue to grow the account. All right, guys. So anyway, smash the like button. I'm going to explain more in the next video. Talk to you later. Peace.